The first thing we must remember is when we take our instrument out of the case, we need to have the case flat on the floor with the top of the case pointing towards the ceiling. And some of you even have a sticker on the top of your case that says T-O-P, top. So a lot of you have a pocket on the top side of your case that helps you remember. Um, and another way to look for whether the case is, is um, sitting properly on the floor is you'll have maybe a, some straps on the bottom or even some uh, silver bolts on the bottom of the case and it's more flat on the bottom of the case. That's the big sign. The, the more flat side is for the floor. Flat on the floor. So you must get keep your case on the floor when you get your instrument out and make sure that it's upright and not upside down because any time we have the instrument upside down, it is that cl much closer to um, having an accident and something breaking. The bridge is not glued down. The bridge is only held um, in place by the tension of the string. So anytime it, 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 the violin rests um, on, on the side with the strings, that gives the bridge um, a, uh, a chance to, to have too much pressure put on it and break. So please always remember that we put the case going with the top um, facing the ceiling and we always hold the instrument without putting pressure on the bridge because we don't want our bridge to break in half or to collapse, which happens sometimes. All right, so we've gotten our instrument out of the case. The next thing that comes is our shoulder rest, um, which most of us have a shoulder rest that has two little claws that I like to call claws. So this is the uh, back side of, of a shoulder rest. And as you can see, they have claws, or sometimes we call them teeth. And the claws have, um, they want, what you wanna do is kind of make the claw shape go inward. So you can see here that the claw shape is going in to hug the violin, the sides, the bout, the lower bout. If it's turned this way, you, it will not hug the bout of the violin. It will be going the wrong direction. This side is a little bit different, but it has the same type of claw um, to hug the, the bout. You wanna make sure the claws are pointing inward so that they hug the bout, the lower bout of the instrument. Now that we have our claws going the correct direction, make sure yours are going the direct, correct direction too. We have a couple ways that we can do this, and I'm going to show you one in this video. This is sometimes a tricky way to do it. So what I recommend is that you sit in a chair and we're always on the edge of our seat with fat, flat with our feet. Edge of our seat, flat with our feet. Let me make this go a little lower. Okay, so I've got a little chair here. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to put the carefully hold the violin upside down. This is the scary part, with your legs. Do not put your legs around the tune pegs, only your, just kind of hold the uh, violin securely around the neck, just right here in the legs area. And then make the shoulder rest, make the shoulder rest smile, okay? And the claws are going towards towards the the wood of the violin so don't so we don't want it to go this way obviously we want the claws to be able to hook on so the shoulder rest is smiling it has an arch it is not frowning if it frowns it will not um hug our um hug onto our shoulder as naturally so we want it to smile with the violin going upside down and then what happens is since we have our neck being held in our legs firmly, but not too tight and not around the pegs. That gives us freedom, I'll turn mine around here, to really use both of our hands. That's why this method is really kind of cool. So our claws are going the correct direction and I always go one side on at a time. This, so I make sure that the claws are all the way 
around the bout, and then I do it again on this side. And if you are worried that you didn't quite get your shoulder rest on correctly, practice doing that a few times until you feel, feel like you've got it. If your shoulder rest does not have an arch, then we may, that might be something we should talk about getting you a new shoulder rest because a lot of times the shoulder rests that go straight across are very uncomfortable and just don't work well on the shoulder. And if you're uncomfortable, it's hard to enjoy playing, right? So now we can take our instruments out from the legs and we can hold it back up the way it enjoys being. And this is where we're going to do our rest position. So we've got our shoulder rest on. We um, want to take our right arm and kind of open it up and let the um, shoulder rest go on our side. We wanna put our, our right arm over the chin rest, okay? But we certainly don't wanna go over the bridge because we talked about the bridge collapsing. So we nestle in and I'm holding the neck with my left hand that way I'm always ready to start playing. So we always say, when it's time for this um, position to, to come about, we say rest position. And everyone says rest position. Let's try that, okay? We're just sitting here and I say rest position, rest position. Very good. Now we're going to talk about playing position. And a lot of these, these steps rely on you knowing the parts of the violin. In order to do playing position, you need to remember this is the in button, okay? This is the neck, which we've talked about quite a bit. Um, we need to remember that this is the fingerboard. This black, this black piece of wood here is the fingerboard, ebony wood. And uh, what, what's really important is, even though this is called the chin rest, it's really more like a jawbone rest because our chin is in the front and that is not what we put on this chin rest. We are going to put the left side of our jawbone on this chin rest and we're really going to have to keep it on firmly and securely. Not, not putting too much, pre no pressure, but just a lot of weight goes down to hold it firmly. So what I want you to do is hold your instrument with, at the neck with your left hand and hold it straight out. You can stand if you like to or sit on the edge of your seat with a tall back. And then you're going to turn the violin to the side and hold the, uh, with the right hand, hold the end button. Now bring the violin up to your left ear. If, you're a, if you have long hair, please get it a, um, away from your left shoulder so that it doesn't get in the way. The end button and your ear Okay, if you can feel that it's right up against your ear, slide it down. If you're a girl and you have earrings, you may want to take them off so it doesn't get caught. Okay, and keep it nice and snug on the shoulder. And here, I'm going to show you first what we sh want it to look like. So, your jawbone is sitting firmly in on the chin rest. I tend to put mine right at the edge of the chin rest towards the tailpiece in the middle. Okay, and I hold it firmly, and that way my violin goes straight out. It, it doesn't go up or sag down, it just goes straight out like another extension of me. I don't want to see a gap between the neck and the instrument. It needs to be snug. That's why we bring the end button straight down our neck and hold it tight. Keep trying that with me as I do it. So end button at your ear, on slide it straight down your neck. And remember, I'm. this is my left side and make sure that you're using your left side. Your left shoulder is where your violin will sit, not the right side, the left shoulder. Okay, so you've got your instrument on your, on your um, shoulder and your jawbone. You're holding it firmly. It's a little bit awkward. It may even feel a little uncomfortable if it really is a, a bothersome to your chin or your neck or your jawbone, you might get a little towel and put it around here, a soft, a soft rag like a um, fiber cloth. Uh, that tends to work well. Okay, and you hold it tight. Now, once you have it secure, I, I want you to watch out and not get in the habit, first of all, of laying. I told some students today, 
Pretend like there's an apple on top of your head when you hold your instrument in playing position. If you lay on the chin rest, that apple topples over to the ground. If you hold your, your head straight up and hold the violin properly on your shoulder with your jawbone, it will not fall off. Now, if I'm holding the violin correctly, I can take my hand away from the neck and I can tap my right shoulder. If I'm not holding it correctly and I take my hand away, it'll fall. We don't want to have to hold our instrument up with our hand. With, it should all be carried right in here, nice and firm, and it'll get easier and easier if you keep practicing that. So try it again with me. You're in rest position with me, say rest position, rest position. Then you are about to go to playing position, so you hold the violin out with your left hand on the neck here. Your right hand goes at the end button. Bring the end button to your left ear. Slide it down, don't let it get away, don't make a gap. And hold and put your, your jawbone firmly over the instrument without laying. Keep that, keep that apple on the top of your head. And if you're a girl, you wanna keep your hair out of the way. Okay, and you've got the violin nice and firm and you can pat, you know that you're ready to go. Now, your, your, your left hand is going to start playing notes very soon. You don't just hold it like this all the time. You're actually going to use your left hand. So in order to have a good left hand sh shape, make a C with your left hand, like, and then hold a cup, pretend like you're holding a cup. And then I want you to pour it backwards so that you're just pouring out the liquid in the cup and freeze that position. Just bring that exactly how it looks onto the violin. And we will start putting our fingers down in just a couple weeks. Okay, so that's the position. Now, one thing that I see a lot of boys and girls do is put their instrument on the chest or let it sag or even in the front, which just makes my heart so sad. So please do not do that. It will, it will be very difficult for you to break the habit of holding the violin in the wrong place if you do this at home when you practice. Please always put the instrument on your shoulder. If it's a challenge for you to do this now, it will get easier and easier and you will never have to worry about it again. If you do not fix the, the, the poor habit of holding the instrument on your chest or sagging the violin, you will always have to deal with it. So fix it now and get it out of the way. Keep the instrument on your shoulder and jawbone and keep it straight out. Now we're ready to play our song. So I want you to take your right hand and you're going to use your thumb on the corner of the fingerboard. That's your anchor. The thumb stays there at all times. And your first finger is going to pluck the strings for you. So I always say you can wave out to the scroll. Hi, hi scroll. That's this guy right here. This is the scroll. Hi, scroll. Okay, so we're going to play the open string song. Okay, and remember also to keep your left arm straight. This is, um, some people call this what's called a pizza, pizza hand or a pizza wrist. We wanna keep a straight wrist. Straight wrist, straight arm, always, always, always. And that way it gives us a, the ability to play with all of our fingers. And when we become more advanced, we shift, but we can never do anything with our pinky or shift if we have our, our wrist bent, which it should not be ever. Okay, so we're th gonna put our thumb on the corner, anchor the thumb. Your first finger's going to pluck the E string and we're gonna sing together. One, two, ready, sing. Each, 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 and every band, and inching in the dirt, dirt underneath the ground, ground all the way to China. China, China, China. Rest position. That was great. Let's do that one more time. Let's do the open string song one more time and really make sure we get everything proper, properly placed. Okay, end button in our ear, slide it down. Keep the instrument straight on our shoulder. 
We're gonna keep a straight wrist here. Make sure your instrument doesn't go on your chest. Keep it on the shoulder. Make sure you're not laying on the chin rest, that your jawbone is sitting firmly and you have a straight head so the apple will not fall off. And then we're going to anchor our thumb and this finger will pluck the strings. Do not pluck down at this area. Keep the, th keep the fingers plucking right at the beginning of the fingerboard. The black, the black piece of wood is the fingerboard. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and go. Each, 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 and every, and, 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 ching, and the dirt, dirt, underneath the ground, ground, all the way to China, 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 China. Rest position. All right, you did it. Very good job, and I can't wait to see how you practiced so hard next Wednesday when we have our next orchestra class. Keep practicing, guys. See you soon.